We're in Florida fishing for literally thousand pound hammerhead sharks off the beach. I've been dreaming about doing this for a long time. We've been fishing five minutes and already got taken downtown by something. You're gonna start off the reel like right here. I'm gonna start pulling. You're gonna go to where you're gonna set hook and feel what that's like. Then you're gonna go to full. And you're gonna imagine that going for 25 straight minutes holding them. Okay. Right. You wanna spot them? <laughs> How do you hold this? Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna get pulled in 100%. <laughs> so I'm gonna get pulled in. Did you There's... make it to full at least? No. <laughs> oh. So you actually catch. We catch 1,000 pounds a We do, a couple of Every years. Every year. Yeah. And then there, there's That's just what we're here for. Are you kidding me? Dude, if we hook one, better be ready for war. Oh, oh whoa. Dang. This is the biggest fish I've ever hooked in my life. Of... Dude, that's a huge thing. Ready? One, two. Wait for this wave. We're gonna start off with the main line. We got about 250, this is 250 pound main line. Uh, it's just our mono. We run a braid backing on it because some of these fish will run us out over a thousand yards. Uh, once these hammerheads push a thousand pounds, some of them become unstoppable. They'll dump any reel we put to it. Uh, we, we do about a 70 foot section of 1200 pound mono. Uh, it's, it's thick stuff, uh, it's for a tail swipe. So we have something to grab onto when we're leadering the fish, but not only that, so the skin of the shark doesn't wear us through. And for our steel, we're using just a 24 aught non-stainless hook uh, rigged up to double 19 wire, just like that. When you're, when you're targeting a fish this big, it's important for your connections. Everything has to be 100% because hopefully you guys get to witness it. I'm gonna make Lee levitate tonight. <laughs> what, is, what does that even mean? <laughs> I'm excited to show you, I really am. <laughs> Oh my god! It's been three and a half minutes. <laughs> so I understand that. Lap. So right now Lee's on a warm-up fish. I'm gonna guess it's probably about 11 and a half feet. Unless, unless Lee's a lot weaker than he looks and it's like a 10 footer. <laughs> but we'll see. God dang it! A massive school. Of I saw. I saw. Right there. Oh man, dude, we were right to mono too. I mean, we literally dropped the bait. It was in the water five minutes and something picked it up. And I think a, either a, another black tip shark or a barracuda might have broke the line. Man, dude, that's, oh, that sucks. We're in Florida fishing for literally thousand pound hammerhead sharks off the beach with our buddy Dan. Total bucket list thing for me here. I've been dreaming about doing this for a long time. We've been fishing five minutes and already got taken downtown by something. Dan is like very well known for catching massive sharks off the beach. He invited me to come down here and do this. He knows that this is like a dream thing of mine to do. Dan's like, he's so dialed on everything he's doing here, like shark fishing, from like his gear to his team, everyone he's got here, his baits. 
we actually have a marine biologist coming with us and if we can land one of these big hammers we're going to put a radio tag transmitter in the in the fish turn it loose where we can actually collect data on what these hammerhead sharks are doing so this is our satellite tag um so basically it's an underwater computer that collects information on light depth um, and temperature so the idea is that this is a 30-day tag i think it's 28 um, so basically all we're really interested in is how it does about 48 hours after it was after the release. released. Yeah, that's the only way we can really attribute the mortality from the fishing event. It uh, has a little pin that'll pop off here. It'll pop to the surface. This will send all the data packages to any satellite that's going overhead. And then I get an email with massive all the files. Yeah. <laughs> that's really cool. So every five minutes it's taking those um, calculations for depth, light, and temperature. And so we get these huge, we can get a really cool profile of like, basically it's swimming profile. So our primary objective is to estimate the post-release mortality rates of great hammerheads that are caught in this fishery. It's basically a big puzzle and to have all of those pieces is the only way to have sustainable management. They're a trophy fish, so uh, yeah, they're pretty big. There's like a giant bowl of fruit punch in here. It's even thick like it too. It's so warm and tasty. Day two here in Florida, fishing for big hammers. I had a pretty big fish on yesterday. They were thinking it was like 11 plus feet long. Uh, fought it for a while, had another black tip cut us off. But today's conditions look really good. They do. Uh, we're out here a little bit earlier, so uh, we're gonna fish for a little longer. Got some fresh bait, fresh rigs, ready to roll. Of the night first one got run over got a second one drop not a great start but we're not giving up day three today final day out here fishing coming down to the wire Palin baits out to like three in the morning last night. Just no action. I think that it's really a late afternoon deal. So we're out here early. It's not for the thing hard. It's really stormy. There's some storms coming in. Weather's rough, but apparently this is what Dan likes for shark weather. So got high hopes for today. One day to get it done. Woo! It's happening, dude. It's happening. Pretty intense out here, dude. If we hook one, better be ready for war. Getting tight now. Talk to me. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I fought the anchor before. I fought the anchor many times. Anchors and bull sharks fight the same. This feels like an anchor. Yeah, pretty much. 
Yeah. Hey, Dan. Dan. He's screaming line now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah buddy. All right, hold on. I got anchor me. swim in the whole time. There we go, dude. Put, now he knows he's hooked. So, now remember when Thomas face planted? That's exactly what happened, too. Good dude, move. he's going. This is what we came for. This is what we came for, bro. We're in for it now. Yeah. All right. Like, this is this is what we came for, man. This is the biggest fish, this is the biggest fish I've ever hooked in my life. Come on, baby. I'll do leader, you'll do rope, she'll do tail. All right. We're gonna be roaming that fish out, all right? Okay. So your job is on that dorsal, keeping that fish in line with the water, keeping them from rolling over. When you're done with this, you're not done. That's the start. Oh, you got this. This is what we've been going for you got all this, dude. three days. We got mono on the reel now. We yeah. changed this line earlier today. You got this, dude. <sighs> you're doing it. No, this is literally the biggest fish I've ever had a chance at in my whole life. All right. Now's the time you got a fighter. What have I been doing? She's right there, guys. Is it a hammer? The big tiger! Tiger, it's been on the bucket list. We're here for hammers, but that was a pretty sweet surprise. I'm worn out, dude. They're wanting to go check the other lines because sometimes these fish come through in groups. We're not done for the night. I am. They're not. Struggled a little, little bit with that fish in the surf, but got her out, watched her swim off, gave her a good push offshore. Good release. She took off, it? yeah, great release. Good I mean, job. overall, that fish was in the surf two minutes. Less than that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I've never caught a tiger before. Good job, dude. It's a good tiger, too. How many pounds? How big guesses? Ah, uh, probably 500 pounds. 700? Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm done. No, you're not. The nice that's young. not as, in as intense as a hammer yeah. bite. I don't know if I'm ready. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this video. Our first shark deal. I want to thank Dan for having us out here. If you guys want to see more of these videos, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do that now. We're actually giving away a brand new bass boat, like a $30,000 bass boat this summer. And we're going to drive it to your house. Be sure to subscribe so you're, you can be entered to win that. Dan, thank you for having us, dude. Good job, man. This is a lifetime for me. I've never caught a tiger like that in my life. It's so gonna happen. It was worth it. We're gonna stick it out here. It's pouring rain, there's a storm coming, but we're gonna give it another hour, see if a hammer bites. That's all we got. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Let's get a hammer. Let's get a hammer. Let's get a hammer.